We're back with more Detective Pikachu. It's Abdallah here. Hi. We're on this lounge, luxury lounge cruiser thing, and we need to go upstairs because we have we are in the lounge, having to go upstairs. The captain. So let's go do that. All right, here we go. Let's go, Captain. You got some information for me? I'm ready for it. Amelia, you wait there. Hey, there's a crew member. Let's ask where we can find the elevators. Right. Excuse me. Yes. Could you tell us where the elevators are? Hmm, right in front of you. Oh, you can get to the bridge by using the elevators right in front of us. This floor has elevators on the left and right, but either one will get you there. Thank you. We've already seen the elevators. Come on. I could have pressed the button earlier. Whoa, nose pass? Oh, that makes sense because his nose always points to the north, right? Or something like that? What is it? What is it? Can I help you, Mr. Goodman? Wow, attitude. There's something I'd like to ask you. And what might it be? Tell me about the Prime Treasure Show. We'd love to know more about what kind of show it is, but we can't get tickets. Huh, I'm really sorry, but I don't know much about the shows myself. Even though you're the captain? Yeah, sorry not to be more help. All the shows are planned by the committee. What do you mean? You see, the ship is a little unusual. The passengers are actually the owners. All the rooms are privately owned, and everything from the events on board to the next destination are decided by a committee run by the passengers. So the passengers have more power than the captain? So I don't know anything about what shows might be planned. All that's run by the committee, as I said. I see. Well, thank you very much. Well, what about the suitcase? We're still trying to find uh, Miss Rose's suitcase. We're also in the process of notifying every department about the mask. I do hope that every uh, suitcase ends up where it should be. Where are you keeping that suitcase now? In front of Nosepass. Nosepass seemed to have taken a shine to it. Come to think of it, it seems like the owner of the suitcase is also interested in that show. When I had a good look through the suitcase, I found a strange note. What? Wow, what does that say? Let's see. The Prime Treasure Show. Ice Tea. The Usual Frillish. Umbrellas and Yellow Deck Chairs. Is this our order that we have to put? It's like a secret order. Umbrellas and Yellow Deck Chairs? What does this even mean? Is this some... Did you remember all of that? Ice Tea. Usual frillish, yellow, and something umbrellas. Those are some random words. I've written them down anyway, though. Actually, Tim, there was something else be uh, beside that note. A ticket. I don't know what it's a ticket for, though. Oh, we might have found a ticket to the show. It's not our ticket to use, though. Hey, Nose Pass. Always facing north. That's right. Yeah, yeah, the Pokemon lore. You gotta know about Pokemon. Are you the captain's partner? Nose, nose. Uh, what's that? We should go in front of you if we want to talk. Nose pass. Okay. You, you can only face north. Okay, you're a little weird, but we can move to be in front of you. <laughs> so, uh, let me tell you, let me ask you this. If you throw a nose pass in battle... <laughs> he's not going to do it. He, he's got to point north. So, I guess it really does always face north. So, when you go and bring nose pass into battle... You're like, hey, hold on a second here. My nose pass is facing towards me over here. Do you guys mind if we turn the arena around and I could stand on the other side? Like, what? Fascinating. Uh, hey, nose pass. There's a ticket in there. Yeah, it doesn't say for what event, but it has today's date on it. I wonder what the ticket's for. Yeah. What is up with that ticket? Hey, nose pass. Tell me about the suitcase. You love the mask inside? The captain put it in front of you when he noticed you were trying really hard to turn your head so you could see it, huh? Oh, it made you happy, huh? Well, that's good. Fascinating. All right, well, can I just, like... Okay, hi. Right. That was a bizarre note in the suitcase. Yeah, I wonder if it's related to the mask in some way. It could be some kind of secret code that lets you get into the show. We still don't know what kind of show it is, but we might be able to find out more if we follow what the note says. Uh, there was one more thing on the note that we can start investigating immediately, right? Yeah, all these things. The Prime Treasure Show. We've already tried looking, but we got nowhere. Let's look into something else that we could, uh, really... Oh, yeah, the usual Frillish. Yeah, we might be able to find out the code on the note if we talk to the Frillish. Hopefully, it'll lead us to the show. Let's go find Frillish and see what they can tell us. Yeah, who's the usual one? Later, Captain. So-called Captain. But I think it's interesting that, like, there's a committee... Which one's the usual frillish? Oh, oh, hey, Tim. Amelia, Mr. Graham. Welcome back. We're just talking about you. Did you find out anything about the show? 
Well, even the captain didn't know anything about it, but we did manage to get some new information. The suitcase had a note in it. A note? Yes, it had a few things written on it, but one of the things was the Prime Treasure Show. Oh, that's quite a scoop, Tim. A stolen mask and a mysterious show. This whole suitcase incident is just plain full of surprises. He's totally planning to make it part of the program. Is that all he ever thinks about? So, are you going to investigate what was in the note now? Yeah, I'm going to try to find out more about what was written on it. Okay, I'll keep trying to find out more about this mysterious show. Alright, I'm looking for a frillish. There was one that was, like, down here. But there's also some, like, in the first area, too. Yellow and white umbrellas? Maybe if I stand under the yellow and white umbrellas, the usual frillish. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? True. Uh, let's talk about the usual frillish. I uh, see. So you don't know what it means either. I don't think this is the usual frillish. Let's go talk to the other ones. All right. I'm not going to ask it three more things. Not worth it. I don't need to check every single box and talk to every single thing. Although it's going to come back and bite me, bet. It's like I'm going to be missing a clue and I didn't talk to the frillish. What's here? Brian? Oh, hey, Brion. Uh, you say I should take a swim? Oh, I imagine it's refreshing, but I'm busy. You bet it's because I can't swim? How rude. Uh-huh, everyone's just lying around. Nobody seems to want to go for a swim. Adults are like that, you know. Especially this guy that was laying down. Okay, you're the usual frillish. Uh, you don't know, huh? Okay, but you did run into an unusual customer? What do you mean? He was trying to order something that wasn't on the menu, and he was so persistent you had to chase him away. What was he trying to order? You don't know. He said he wanted a book? Trying to order a book. Whoever it was making that mysterious order could be the owner of the suitcase. It's worth looking into. Anyway, hey, what was this guy like? He was lying around as if he owned the place, and he was blue? Maybe he was wearing blue clothing. Let's have a look around. Is this a strange man laying down with the full clothing on right now? You! Move! You! Excuse me, do you have a moment? Huh? Didn't you just order something unusual from the Frillish? Oh, you saw that? How embarrassing. I was trying to order a book. Huh? You can order books from Frillish too? Well, I thought you could, but it looks like I was wrong. Frillish wouldn't take my order, so I gave up in the end. Why did you try to order a book from a Frillish? It's actually my first time on the ship, and I was just trying to blend in with the people around me. I saw someone getting a book from the Frillish, so I figured that it must be how all these high-class folks pass the time by the pool. I just thought I'd give it a try, too. Tell me about that. Uh, do you know which Frillish was the one carrying a book? Yeah, to be honest, all the Frillish look the same to me. How about who received the book from the Frillish? Oh, I can tell you. It was that lady on the deck, uh, the lady on the deck chair across from here. The one with the chinchino. Mmm, thank you very much. Alright, let's go talk to her. Yeah, yeah, of course it would be her. She was, like, sticking her nose up at us. Alright, come here. Ordering a book. You! Yeah, tell me about this book. Did I order a book from the Frillish? No, ordering a book from Frillish. I've never heard of such a thing. Well, we spoke to someone who saw... I said I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps whoever you spoke to was mistaken about what they think they saw. Playing innocent, huh? I don't think we'll get any answers out of her. But that doesn't mean we're out of options. Let's talk to the Chinchino. Alright, you two. Did your partner receive a book from the Frillish? She did, huh? I knew we could trust these Pokemon. Let's hear what they have to say. Oh, wow. They just completely sold her under the bus, right? Like, just sold her out. Threw her under the bus. All right, tell me about the Frillish that brought the book. Which Frillish was it? The one with the sharp features. The Frillish on the second floor. That's the one that brought the book. Thanks. Sharp features. You didn't notice? You need to work on your observational skills if you want to be a detective. They all have different features. Do they really? Uh-huh, yeah, so the view was great from the second floor, so you went up there, got a look, and from from the edge of the second floor deck, before your partner met with Frillish. Before she met with Frillish, huh? That must mean something. There's a partner on the second floor. Was your partner acting funny when she was looking down from up there? Uh, you, uh, you don't know, huh? You were just playing a game of counting everything on the first floor with her? Uh, okay, thanks for the info. Counting something? I don't know what's going on with these two, but we gotta get to the second floor. And I don't think I went to the second floor, so let's go figure that out. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Wow, look! I didn't talk to all these people, but there's a ping pong table. 
All right, so what exactly am I looking for on the second floor? A partner looking down below. This one right here, this guy. You. Excuse me, did you happen to see a lady with chinchino on this floor? Oh yeah, there was someone like that here a minute ago. She was standing right there looking down at something. By that railing? Yeah, you can see the whole first floor from here. Okay, about the luxury cruise ship. You can get a great view of the fireworks. They don't start until the evening. Okay, so I can look over here. This is the floor. This is where the lady was looking down at the first floor. What are we seeing? What are we counting? Umbrellas? Iced tea? You! Are you the fellow in charge of delivering books? Oh, so you are. Do you think you could bring me one? Uh, you will if we order it properly? What do you mean? I'm ordering it right now. It's no use. What are we supposed to do? It says do it properly. Don't think it's going to tell us. Maybe there's a specific way to order it. Alright, well, I'm going to place an order. It's something about, like, iced tea. Okay, if we're going to place an order, do it properly. We'd love to, but you haven't told us what you meant by that. You can't tell us. Well, great. This is getting us nowhere. I'm just going to order an iced tea. That's the secret code. Alright, alright. This doesn't ring a bell. Nothing about that. Tell me about the frillish. Uh, you don't have much time to talk to the other ones. Okay, got it. Keeping still is part of your job. You need to be ready at a moment's notice. Okay, seems pretty proud of itself. Uh, looks all sharp and serious, too. What's the deal with this, Frillish? Hey, Tim. Tim. Okay, what do you got? It seems like there's a specific way we're supposed to order. Maybe it has something to do with what was written on that note. Also, remember that Chinchino told us its partner was counting something. Why don't we put all the information we have together? How do we order? And what was Chinchino counting? Place an order with the frillish on the second floor. It'll bring us a book, apparently. Counting the umbrellas? So there's uh, gotta be some secret in how we place an order. I don't suppose you found any hints on that note, did you? I didn't really look at it outside of that. The show, usual frillish, iced tea. I mean, it could be any of these three. Umbrellas and yellow chairs. Uh, yeah, the usual frillish. I'm just gonna throw iced tea over here. Now, why do you think that? Because it's ordering drinks. Oh no, I think I don't think it's the iced tea then. How do we order? Oh gosh, <laughs> here we go. Order with the frillish on the second floor. It'll bring us a book. Uh, so the second option is something about the, like so the iced tea or something. Be uh, be I don't know, man. Okay, great. Here it comes. Here it comes. I don't suppose you found any hints on that note, did you? Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. Bump bump. The usual frillish. I don't know where we're trying to go with this, but. Strange man who ordered a book. Yeah. Who? What would give us a clue? Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, we're gonna do Chinchino's partner. I actually don't know this answer. What's he trying to get over here? No, that's not right. Uh, which one? Uh, what are we trying to do here, friends? Let's actually let me let me look at this. Let me look at this. So, what gives? What would give us a clue? Oh, maybe it's umbrellas in the usual chairs. Because dude was counting. Yeah, there we go. Got it. All right. She was the one who got the book. She was super busy counting something. What was it? She was counting now umbrellas in the chairs. The umbrellas and yellow deck chairs. The number of umbrellas and the chairs. Now that's two different numbers. Yeah. Can you think of anything related to this? Uh, yeah. what what things relate to the two numbers? Uh, blah, 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 the ticket, the ship's newspaper, the order sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The number of drinks is the amount of sugar. Yeah, okay. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So it's a secret amount of drinks and amount of sugar. Here's the explanation. The two numbers stand for the number of teas and sugar cubes we order from Frillish. Yeah, at least that mystery is solved. Let's go place our order. How do we know which one is the umbrellas and the yellow chairs? 
Is that corresponding to teas and sugars? Oh gosh. Alright, let's go and find a spot where we can look down the whole first floor. Alright, so here we go. We're looking for umbrellas and yellow chairs. And then we'll have two numbers that we can maybe brute force to find out. Great view from the first floor. Man, I can't tell you what which one of these are yellow chairs. We need to count the number of umbrellas and yellow deck chairs, right? We should remember to check both left and right side when we count. Oh, here we go. Umbrellas. One. Okay, this is umbrella. Three umbrellas on the left. Wow, four, five, six. Okay, six umbrellas. Ah, ah, ah. What is this? Counting five yellow deck chairs on the right side. One, two, three, four. I guess I'm going to trust Pikachu on that one. Oh, here's number five. Okay, great. What's this? Yeah, five deck chairs. Looks like there's two yellow deck chairs over here. So it's going to be six and seven. Okay. We got it. There's six umbrellas and seven yellow deck chairs. That means we need to order six sugar cubes and seven cups of iced tea. How, are you just like throwing a, a coin flip on that? How did you know that that's exactly it? Not the other way around. Detective Pikachu, man, he knows more than he's setting off, right? Like, Okay, here we go. It says if we're ordering drinks, go to the Frillish on the first floor. I guess this one's handling some other job here. No, I'm going to place an order with you. Hey, we got it. We got it figured out. Okay. We need to do an iced tea. How many do we want? Oh, gosh. Was it six ice cubes? Oh, shoot, man. Seven ice cubes? Or six? Seven drinks? I think I, I don't even remember, man. <laughs> it's just that. It's a, it's a coin flip. I hope I got that right. Oh, we got a book. We did it. Here it is. See, that was a 50-50 chance. There's no way Pikachu knew that umbrellas equals ice cubes and the chairs equals drinks. There's no way. Auctions catalog. It looks more than a, a more of a menu than a book. Yeah, let's see what's in it. Prime treasure auction information. Please be sure to have your ticket with you. The dress code is semi-formal. What? Don't tell me you don't know what dress code means. It's basically telling us how we're supposed to dress up. For this auction, uh, we won't be able to get in unless we're wearing a suit and tie. Wait, auction? Yeah, that's what it says. So there wasn't going to be a show in that room after all. It's an auction. Look, it says the lineup for the auction. Detective's Cape, Henry Brothers Recipe Book, A Mask of Antiquity. Hey, isn't that the mask, uh, the one that we were just looking at? The owner of that suitcase must have intended to put the mask up for bid. But the mask is a stolen item. Yeah, this is no ordinary auction. It's almost like a black market. Hmm. Take a look. R is on this list too. You're right. It's on the list of items for sale. And it looks like whoever wins the bid gets exclusive buying rights for six months. We can't let that happen. We've got to stop them. We need to find a way to sneak into the auction. But how? Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I think we'll be able to walk right in. It's said to have your tickets with you. And the dress code is semi-formal, right? What are you saying? All we need to do is meet the conditions. We'll worry about the dress code later, but there was that weird ticket in the suitcase that must be the ticket for the secret auction. Let's go to the bridge and take a closer look at it. Cool. It looks like there's no show in that room. It's a secret auction where they sell everything, even stolen goods. So now I'm curious if Keith is planning on attending. Because Keith wants to make the money off of selling R and exclusive buying rights? A detective cape? Like, what, who's selling that? Like, what's the origin of the d detective cape? And what was the other items for the auction? Alright, let's go to the bridge. I forget there was, like, another quick item on there. A detective's cape, something else. Excuse me. Oh, hello, Tim. Oh, yeah, is recipe. There a problem? Well, yes. You see, the mask has gone missing. Huh? I took my eyes off it for a moment. It disappeared. So, do you think it was stolen? No. The only ones in the room were me and Nosepass. Nobody else came in. 
what could have happened? Hmm. Let's ask Nosepass. Hey, did you see anything? No. Mm -hmm. Nose bar. No nose bar. It disappeared in just the blink of an eye. How could that be? Nose bar. You say that's the truth, huh? Hmm. So it's a closed room robbery. This should be very interesting. Sounds interesting. A closed room robbery? Gotta be a ghost? Solve the theft. Well, where did it go? So now the mask has gone missing too. Let's see if we can find any trace of it in the room. Hmm. How could the mask have gone missing? I'm really racking my brain on this, outside of ghosts. We are in the Pokemon world, aren't we? We all live in a Pokemon world. <laughs> Alright, how about in the bush? Nothing in the tree? Looking around over here, how about in the bookcase? Oh, not so fast, Tim. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to leave. Okay, nothing around here. Alright, how about in the case? It's empty. No sign of a ticket or note. Yeah, whoever it is it got us this time, but we're not going to be able to get anywhere near Keith unless we solve this case. Nose. Hey, Nose Pass. The mask you really liked it disappeared. Well, sorry to hear that. Nose Pass. Okay, uh, let's see. When did it occur? So you were staring at the mask the whole time, and then what happened? The ship changed direction, and the mask moved to where you couldn't see it for an instant. Things moved back to their original position quickly, and the mask was gone. If it moved only for an instant, what could have happened? Uh, some cold water splashed onto your head when the mask was out of your view? Water? It doesn't seem like there'd be a leak anywhere here. Where'd the water come from? Uh, you don't know? Oh, I get it. You can't look up, can you? Water drops were falling? What is this? Weird. How about you, Captain? We were entrusted with safekeeping of the mask. We must find it. I'm more worried about the ticket than the mask. What on earth is going on? Alright, I was busy steering the ship when the incident happened. Nosepass suddenly started raising a fuss, so I went in to check on it, and that's when I found its contents were missing. The only ones in the room were you and Nosepass, correct? That's right. So the mask, the ticket, and the note all disappeared, huh? Yeah, there were a few people who came and went before the incident. Of course, there was you and then two other members of the crew. How does that work? Yeah, there were two other members. I was in charge of steering the ship until I arrived. Or sorry, one was in charge of the ship, uh, of steering the ship until I arrived. The other came to make a regular report and left as soon as I was done. Yeah, where are those two now? They're probably hanging around the lounge. Got it, thanks very much. Yeah, I guess we should see what they have to say. All right, so two other people came in prior to all this, but what would they have anything to do? Hanging out in the lounge? So this is the lounge, but we can't go inside there. I don't think that's a crewmate. That guy's just there. There they go. Look at these twins. Excuse me, can we talk to you for a moment? Sure, what can I do for you? The captain told us you were at the bridge today. Do you think you could tell us a little bit about that time? Did something happen at the bridge? I'd be happy to tell you what I know. I went to the bridge to deliver my periodic report. I didn't have much to report on, so once I was done, I left the room. Did you notice anything unusual? I did. I, uh, I did see Nosepass had a mask in front of it, but nothing besides. It wasn't in the room, but there was a strange thing that I noticed. Oh yeah, tell me more. What was the strange thing? When I stepped out into the hallway after delivering my report, I noticed it was wet. And that's unusual? Yes, it is. It was the top floor, so we don't get any waves or anything. It could be the captain. It could be that the captain spilled a drink, I guess. That's odd. Thank you very much for your time. The floor was wet, huh? That does seem strange. All right, here we go. Frillish is a water and ghost type that maybe just like came through the floor, took the stuff. Wait. Something like that. <laughs> Speaking of the bridge. While I was on the deck, one of our passengers wanted to know when my next trip up to the bridge would be. What was that person like? Yeah, he was the famous chef Gino. He made it a point to double check the time. Even after I told him. He made it seem like it was something very important. 
Oh, Gino, the suspicious guy, huh? Oh, sorry, do you have a moment? I'd like to ask you about how things seemed on the bridge. Yeah, but why me? Well, the captain told us you had gone to the bridge, so... Ah, uh, I see, I did go there. Has something happened? Yeah, sorry to say. That makes me sad. We pride ourselves on offering a safe, secure cruise. Don't worry, capture, we'll capture the culprit in no time. Please, if there's anything I can do, just uh, just ask. All right, tell me about the mask. Oh yeah, I remember seeing the mask. I was told not to touch it. It must have been very valuable. It was placed in front of Nosepass. Actually, Nosepass seemed to really like it. It was staring at it constantly. Maybe Nosepass thinks the mask is a Pokemon similar to itself. Tell me about your time on the bridge. I was on the bridge steering the ship, but I went on break because the captain arrived and took, do and took over. Did you notice anything odd happen while you were on there? Nothing on the bridge, no. The only thing out of the ordinary today uh, happened while I was taking a break in the lounge when a Pokemon next to me spilled its juice. That's it. Nothing strange. Tell me about the ship. Alright, cool. You do duties, great. Nothing important, got it. Okay, Gino, where are you? That crew member's testi testimony was interesting. Sounds like Gino was really interested in finding out exactly when the crew member was going to the bridge. So you suspect Gino, Pikachu? I don't think that testimony is enough to say he's a suspect. You're right. If the testimony was all we had. Um, but Gino also has a motive for wanting the contents of the suitcase. The suitcase had a ticket for the auction. And there was something in the auction lineup that Gino probably would want. Remember? He wants the recipe. Right? The Henry Brothers recipe book. He's so close to making that recipe. But if he had the recipe book, he wouldn't have to experiment. He was trying to recreate the recipes of the Henry Brothers. If the recipe book is real, he's got every reason to want it. So Gino stole the suitcase because he wanted the ticket? But how did he know the ticket would be in that bag? Well, we talk really loud to each other over here, and maybe he overheard you, Tim. I think it's more likely that the suitcase is actually Gino's. Uh, this theft could just be his reclaiming the contents of his own bag. Uh, we should find out what Gino's up to. Let's ask Amelia and Graham first. Hey, here's Amelia and Graham. What's up? Hey, yeah, tell me about Gino. Yeah, sorry, I don't know much. I was doing my own research elsewhere. I'm sorry, I can't be more help. Okay, you know a lot about Gino. Well, the interview with the captain is next. Tell me about Gino. He was here for a while, but he headed out. He was saying he's going to the deck. Gino loves to go to the second floor of the deck when he needs to think. I should go find him, though. He wanted to sit in on the interview with the captain. Let's head to the deck and look for Gino. Alright, alright, Gino. He was, like, acting a little shady and suspicious. Oh, hello, Tim. Thank you so much for helping me out earlier. Eh, don't mention it. I hope they find your suitcase soon. Are you on your way somewhere? Oh, no, we're heading back to our room. Huh, Snubble okay? It's shaking all over. Uh, are you sure it's not still scared of your Pikachu? Oh, uh... Is he worried about Snubble? You see, my darling here accidentally spilled its juice when we were at the lounge. It's been shaking like that ever since, I think. It may have given itself a scare. So Snubble is the Pokemon that the crew member was talking about. So you you still... You spilled your juice. You're clumsier than I thought. Uh, you didn't spill the juice? It was someone else's fault? What are you talking about? You say something invisible drank the juice. You saw it disappear right in front of you? And so you got surprised, growled at it, and at some point the cup fell over. At that same time, what looked like a Pokemon appeared for an instant and said, My juice. And it bumped into you when it made a run for it. It was wet and cold? Water again. Huh, interesting testimony. Okay, so he's obviously seeing a wet a wet water Pokemon, and it could be Frillish. It could be a ghost. Hey, Tim. Snubble's testimony was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, I wonder which Pokemon it was that it saw. It's definitely worth looking into. Let's go uh, to the deck and find Gino. Alright, so maybe he saw a Frillish. Just chilling out. Had a drink. Bumped into it. What's the big idea? Is Gino using the Frillish somehow? In order to cause a distraction? Hey, there you are, Gino. What is it? What's up, Tim? Apparently that mask has been stolen. It seems rather brash for someone to steal a stolen item. And who's the culprit? I'm still investigating that. Oh, you are? Oh, that's right. You're a detective, aren't you? Mr. Graham mentioned that to me. Uh, have you... How have you been spending today, Gino? I've been just relaxing on the deck since I left the lounge. Although one of the Pokemon at the pool decided to play a prank and splash me with water. 
So I came up to the second floor to dry off. Oh, that must have been a hassle. Yeah, well, I think it was a great way to get some time to think. I assume you were thinking about recipes? That's right, the Henry Brothers recipes, to be precise. I've almost got it. If I succeed in recreating them, it will gain the attention of every gourmet in the world. Ooh. Tell me about the recipe book. I've heard there's a book with all of the recipes in it. You mean the Henry Brothers recipe book? If it existed, it wouldn't be going through all this trouble. Um, the recipes are all lost, and it said no one will ever be able to taste the Henry Brothers cuisine again. That's why recreating their recipes is so meaningful. Uh, this is becoming more and more like an interrogation. Do you think I'm the culprit? Oh no, it's not that. Just so we're clear, I was on the dock ever since uh, the deck ever since I left the lounge. You can ask around downstairs if you'd like. I'm sure someone saw me get doused at the pool. All right, well, okay, I'm suspicious of Gino, but it seems like he ha hasn't been to the bridge. We should gather testimony about Gino. Maybe the Pokemon at the pool know something. Yeah, things are getting a little suspicious. We find out his motive of wanting to get his hands on a recipe book, but is he really the guy who stole the mask? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next exciting episode of Detective Pikachu. Take care.